Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and in this video I'm going to be comparing two mice that are wonderfully interesting for a number of reasons. The Rocket Cone XP seen on the left with its fancy RGB, and the Logitech G502 Lightspeed on the right. Now at first glance this might not seem like a logical comparison. The Logitech G502, for example, is wireless, and it's also considerably more expensive than the Cone XP and is perhaps a bit more premium but there are a number of things about them that make them similar in sort of size and shape and design and aesthetic and features that make them worth talking about and I've been using the Cone XP recently for quite a bit of time and thoroughly enjoying it so much so that I might say it's one of my favorite gaming mice that I've used in the last couple of years for a number of different reasons those reasons include the mass of buttons it has 15 programmable buttons which you can customize with up to 29 different actions you'll also see when they're compared side by side that they're quite similar in size and shape and the ergonomic design of them meaning the Cone XP fits nicely in your hand and as does the G502 Obviously striking is that 3D RGB lighting on the Cone XP as well, which makes it very unusual and very nice. Now specs wise, they're also quite similar. The G502 has 25,000 max DPI. The Cone XP goes up to 19,000. The Cone XP has 50 Gs of acceleration. The Logitech G502 Lightspeed has 40, but you will see from the sides that they both have a mass of buttons. The G502 has a sniper button on the front and a few thumb buttons. There's buttons on top. You have adjustable switches and buttons there and all sorts of buttons that you can do. It also has this very nice ergonomic thumb rest as does the Cone XP and that's one of the reasons that I thought it was worth comparing them and they also both have tilt adjustable mouse wheels so the mouse wheels on both of them go left and right so that you can assign actions to those as well and you'll notice highlights including buttons along the left main button as well. Side on views of both and you'll see a very similar setup and some very interesting design highlights. Now the G502 has 11 buttons as standard and the Rocket has 15 so you've got a lot more buttons potentially with the Rocket but the thing that makes it interesting is the easy shift button which you might see me pressing here and that sits on the thumb rest and when you press that you'll notice the RGB lighting changes and you can also change profiles with this profile button behind the mouse wheel so you can set up a variety of profiles on it as you can with all these mice and it has that same sort of logic on the Logitech as well so you can set up different profiles and have different settings as well with onboard memory and such and you'll notice obviously that they're quite striking in their design both of them for different reasons the G502 is the more premium looking of the two it's weightier it's sturdier and it looks nicer but what is hidden under the surface of these two mice is a different setup the Rocket has Rocket's Titan optical switches which are optical mouse switches on the main two buttons which are designed to register your clicks with a beam of light rather than the traditional method. Now Logitech's mice are renowned for using Omron switches which over time wear out and lead to double click issues. This is not a problem that I've had but I do get a lot of comments from people saying they've had issues with Logitech mice over time both the g502 and the super light and other mice as well so you will see a lot of complaints online about that whereas rockout switches are designed to last longer optical switches tend to last a lot longer they usually guaranteed up to 100 million clicks versus 50 million clicks on something like the g502 where they are mechanical switches the sort of traditional mouse switch however i still think the g502 is a wonderful mouse for a number of different reasons not least of which is that infinite spin mouse wheel now in terms of weight neither of these mice is a super lightweight mouse you will see a lot of very lightweight mice and i've tested loads in the recent months and the last couple of years but the Rocket Cone XP is not one of those. It comes in at about 100 grams, depending on the angle you put it on the scales. And as standard, the G502 is 114, 115. That's without its weights, and I'll talk more about those in a second. But essentially, both of these are quite hefty things. I think the G502 feels a lot more premium. The extra weight, but also just the overall design of it, the shell of it, the build quality. It feels sturdier in the hand. It looks a bit nicer. It doesn't feel as hollow. And I think that both mice certainly don't feel as hollow and lightweight as other super lightweight mice that I've tried. 
but the G502's sort of oozes this premium finish to it. You can see from these shots and close-up views that it has a very nice aesthetic to it, a really nice overall appeal. I really like the angry angles on the buttons, for example, and that sort of sharp shape to it. But it also is very ergonomically comfortable. You'll notice the slant on the top of the mouse, the way the slopes in on the left hand side on the thumb rest. Also, the buttons are very well thought out. You can reach that sniper button at the front, which engages a low DPI setting and the thumb buttons above it with ease. But you also have a nice area for resting your thumb on some nice textured grips around there and obviously the buttons just within reach just slightly above that too now included in the box you also get those little extra weights so there's a little box that contains a load of extra weights in it you can put those into the mouse and you can either add all of them or just a few of them to add some extra weight into it so if you prefer heft in your mouse you can do that and you can add extra weight in and make it that little bit weightier so you can see it's more customizable than the Cohen XP and that might make it appealing for a number of different reasons obviously the other main appeal is that it is wireless so it works with light speed wireless technology it has a thousand hertz polling rate as well and it's designed to give you a really good solid connection over wireless and it will work wirelessly for up to 60 hours without the rgb lighting turned on and with the usb connection micro usb you can get up to 2.5 hours of gameplay with a five minute charge. So you can plug it in and get quick charge, but it also works with Logitech's PowerPlay mat system, which is a charged mouse mat, which you plug into your PC, and then you can just sit this mouse on top of it and it will just keep charge all the time. It's like a Qi charging mat, essentially, giving the mouse power constantly so you don't have to plug it in. So if you want that wireless freedom, and I must say I do prefer wireless mice to wired ones generally, then that is much better. However, if you prefer your mice to be on the lighter side, then the Cohen XP is obviously the better of the two in that way. But it is certainly not the lightest mouse I've tried. This is a good 20 or 30 grams heavier than most of the super light mice out there. Now, in terms of the overall aesthetic and look and feel, I feel like the Cohen XP looks the business with that 3D RGB lighting. Obviously uses Rockat's AMO intelligent lighting, which gives you a really good aesthetic out of it. It's one of the most striking mice I've seen for that. Comparable in terms of the click sounds as well. I think the Cohen XP sounds a little bit more hollow and as I was saying the G502 feels a bit more premium in terms of the overall build quality and the button presses as well. I'll leave some clips at the end of this video so you can just hear the sounds on the mouse mat and the click sound as well so you can get an idea to compare the two but they're both reasonably well set up in terms of the PTFE feet on the underside so they are easy enough to move around and you certainly don't feel any extra tugging with the, the Rockat from that cable it's a nice flexible cable so you're not really held down and obviously you have the advantage of not being as heavy as well so it's easier to move about too the most striking thing for me about the Rockat is the setup of the buttons. They have a number of different buttons within easy reach. You can see there's multiple different thumb buttons on the side there. You have four thumb buttons at the top as well as the easy shift button on the bottom. So the easy shift button is a really nice part of this mouse design and one of the best things about it in my opinion. You can press and hold that button down and then you can access a secondary layer of actions on all the other mouse buttons. So you can program them within Rockat Swarm technology and then when you press and hold that button, you can basically do something else. So let's say a macro or a double tap or some sort of other action on any of the buttons. So you can set it up so that you have more buttons at software level than you do at hardware level or that's an immediately obvious. However, I do find that perhaps the gap between the thumb rest and those top buttons on the side is a bit too big. And as you can see from these comparison shots with the G502, it's much easier to access the side thumb buttons. They're closer to the bottom of the thumb rest. So if you're resting your thumb on the side there and just resting your hand in that position, it's much easier just to sort of move your thumb just a little bit up to press those buttons. Whereas with the Cohen XP, I feel like you have to physically lift your thumb up which then takes away. This is obviously my experience. You may well find that yours is different. It's gonna depend on the shape and size of your hand and how you use your mouse. And if you don't program the extra actions into those side buttons, but instead use the mouse wheel and the other buttons, then you obviously have that action capability. Now, what you could see with the G502 is that you have the ability to also up and down your DPI levels. As I said already, both mice are capable of both left and right shift tilt action on the mouse wheel. Obviously you can push them in and 
go back and forth as well and you definitely get some really tactile response from the G502. It's quite loud on the mouse wheel when you roll it and it's quite a good feeling as a metal mouse wheel and it gives a striking finish to it but also you can press this button just behind the mouse wheel and put it into this free spin mode where it will just spin and spin and spin and spin perpetually it seems like forever it won't be forever it does spin and then stop but it basically goes a lot faster this has some interesting use cases potentially if you program it for example for your fire button instead of the left trigger you could set that and just spin it so you could basically have a load of actions there there's loads of other different things that you can do with it i'm sure people could think of but it's one of the things that makes these two stand apart what you will see is that the Cone XP has some really nice RGB lighting again from its mouse wheel and it is a bit quieter I feel like and so overall out of the two the Cone XP is not as loud to use so if that's something that bothers you then that's worth bearing in mind too. So what you've seen is both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages and they are different for a number of reasons but they're also both appealing for a number of reasons and I will actually say that the Cone XP is currently my favourite mouse because it has a nice balance of being not too heavy but also having a mass of options being really nice looking comfortable in the hand easy to use and obviously has optical switches which is definitely a bonus and there's a lot going on that is worth knowing about be sure to check out my full unboxings and other videos linked in the description and stick around now to hear the clicks and sounds on the mouse mat thanks for watching This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.